Artificial rupture of membranes. Artificial rupture of the membranes is a procedure that may be performed to start labor contractions or to strengthen them if labor is slow or ineffective. You know, we talked about maybe rupturing membranes because that hasn't happened. You think maybe we want to go along with that? Okay. Two other reasons for rupturing membranes are to insert an internal fetal monitor and to assess the color of the amniotic fluid, which is an indicator of the fetus's well-being. To rupture membranes, a plastic hook is inserted through the dilated cervix. The hook painlessly punctures the membranes, allowing the warm amniotic fluid to leak out. There we go. Lots of warm water you'll feel leaking out. Okay. The procedure feels like a vaginal exam. Because pressure on the cervix is no longer cushioned by the bag of fluids, it is common for contractions to gain strength after membranes are ruptured. You may need extra support from your labor attendants to stay focused and relaxed. Pitocin. Pitocin is a synthetic version of oxytocin, the natural hormone that stimulates the uterus to contract. It is sometimes used to start labor or to help it along if contractions have slowed down, for instance, after an epidural. Pitocin is usually given through an IV. A special pump controls the amount given and the rate it is dispensed. If you receive Pitocin, both you and your baby will be carefully and constantly monitored. Pitocin changes the character of contractions. They peak sooner and many women experience no breaks in between. For this reason, it is important to adjust your breathing and draw on comfort strategies that meet the challenge of more intense contractions. Forceps and vacuum extractor. There are two obstetrical instruments used in certain circumstances to assist the baby out of the birth canal. Forceps are inserted usually after an episiotomy to fit closely around the baby's head. They are necessary in some emergency situations. A vacuum extractor may be used in place of forceps. With a suction cup applied to the baby's scalp, vacuum extraction helps the baby descend during contractions. Like forceps, vacuum extraction might be necessary if anesthesia or exhaustion make it impossible for a mother to push her baby out on her own. Your own birth experience may require little or no intervention, but it is helpful to know how medical practice can offer you assistance when you need it. During pregnancy, take time to read about your options for childbirth. Discuss your feelings with your labor partner, and if you have concerns about particular medical procedures, talk them over with your doctor or midwife. By doing so, you will be able to approach birth in a way that is both informed and flexible.